Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. I'm on my own for the, this morning because I've got to go and sort the motorhome out because we're going away on Boxing Day. So this is what I have to do to go and wash the van down the yard because there's no tap there. So I just take a couple of containers of water. I use my works jet wash, which you know is adequate. It's not brilliant, but it works. So I've got to go and wash the motorhome down, empty the garage for everything we don't need to carry around, fill the garage back up with everything we're going to need. Yeah, it's going to be a full on day for me people. Well, a full on morning. So I'll get cracking. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Christmas is over, isn't it? Is it? I don't know when this video is going on, but yeah, the weather's crap. But I'm so looking forward to, well, we're both so looking forward to going away on Boxing Day. All right, let's crack on. So I'm here at storage, people. It's absolutely thrown it down with rain. I was going to wash it down first, but what I've decided to do, I'll get the gas bottles out, go and get them filled up, come back, hopefully it's stopped raining, and then I'll start because our baby is in a mess. You probably can't pick it up on this camera. But it is. There you go, people. So I've filled the both bottles up and I've had 16 points, yeah, 16 litres, and it's come to £11.53. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I've said it, bloody windscreen wipers are noisy. I've said it many times. Safe fill, the way to go. The outlay for the bottles, expensive. But apart from that, you'll soon get your money back. Right, I'm back at storage. Let's get the gas bottles back in. Then I've got to check the uh, Aldi wet sensor heating uh, fluid. Look at the say to me. This is how she sends me to work. Unbelievable. Well, she's uh, back at home, in the dry, in the warm, painting her nails. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Uh, can't act exactly wear a suit, can I, while I'm uh, messing about around the motor home, washing it and God knows what. Oh, crack on, folks. That's what they used to call me in school, crack on bird. There you go folks, both gas bottles back in. I'm actually taking three gas bottles. I've got one at the static I'm going to take as well. Because the last thing you want to do when we're up north is run out of gas because we're going way up north. So yeah, that's another one job done. Next job, add blue. There it is, another rip off, but I've got to top that up. It's a good job I checked the Aldi fluid. It's a bit dark in there, but you can see it's there, look. And it should be about there. Lynn wouldn't have been very happy if we'd been up north and we've got no heating because there's a pressure plate in there, okay? And we know this because it has happened to us. That's the minimum there, which it is on. Now once it drops below minimum, your heating won't work. Doesn't matter what you do, it won't work. So yeah, I've got to top that up. <sighs> I'd rather in the year old people if the heating didn't work. Thank God I've checked that. So yeah, I'll fill that up now. Unbelievable. So all you do is take that off there, unscrew that cap there and fill it up. There you go, it's on max. Yeah, that's done. Thank God that's done. <laughs> My life wouldn't have been worth living, people. So this is my setup, people. This is what I've been using for three years. Uh, a work jet wash. It takes about two batteries to do the whole motorhome. So yeah, works pretty well. into a barrel of water and I use let me have a look Autoglim caravan and motor and cleaner and I've always used that yeah brilliant stuff so I crack on actually I don't I don't use this to wash wash the actual cab I use proper car shampoo but I'll crack on with this get it washed as quick as I can and then start unloading the garage so there you go folks, 
using that old jet wash cordless absolutely spotless and it took me I would say 40 minutes I haven't dried it or nothing because well it's pretty pointless to be honest because by the time we get to our destinations it's going to be absolutely filthy that's reminding me I've got to get another one of those magnets because that door opens right up so the door's out the way as you probably know and I've got to get one for this gas locker take the struts off so that door lifts out the way makes life so much easier when those bloody doors out are out the way what a beautiful van so now I've got to get everything out of here including the scooters put it on the back of the truck and then put back in what we need to take because we're going that far up north I don't think we'll be riding the scooters in that in those freezing uh, you know temperatures so yeah get it all out there you go people all done scooters out smart generator in everything chairs tables you name it has gone now I'm taking the generator here because all I've got to do now is put a bottle of gas in there. Yeah, we're taking the generator just in case, because we're going that far up north. If we do get stuck, which is highly unlikely, but if we do, we're not going to run out of power. So, yeah. That eco flow is going to be brilliant. Look at that. Look how much room we've got in there now. Happy with that, folks? Happy. Right, I've got the scooters on the back of, this, on the, back of the truck. So I'll just go and drop them off at home now. There you go. All the rest of me crap is in there. And something just fell out by the looks of it. But yeah. Brilliant. Well, I've just got back, people. I caught her sitting down over there. She dashed up when she... Uh, I wasn't actually. When I... she knew I was back. I was chopping an onion. And pretended to do a bit of chopping and cooking. Because she knows I've been out there grafting all day. No, actually, I've just been in the shower. Uh, have you had a nice day? It's been so peaceful, you wouldn't believe. It's been heaven. I've had the radio on, but I've been busy all day, but I have been sat down. I haven't, I've been sat on the city all day until you've got back. Well, I must say, you are looking very pretty today. Have you lost weight? Shut up, Robert. Have you lost weight? I don't know, I weigh myself. You're ready to say, it's because I'm going to try to be nice. Because Christmas is coming. <laughs> no, you do look like you lost weight, actually. Thank you. Look, you've got a stomach and everything now. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I've been sat down on my backside for hours and hours, but I've done the books. Yeah, she's cooked me books, people. I haven't cooked them. She's you, cooked our books. As you know, we're self-employed, so it's that time of year that I have to sit down. And I need peace and quiet to do it. And I told him, it's got to be on a day when you're not round me. No grandchildren, no husband, just me. Yeah, it's a bloody nightmare, it is. Anyway, let's not talk about him. It's done anyway. We don't want to talk about taxman. No, we've just got to pay the tax now before the end of January. Did you have to say that? Sorry. Right, so what, what have I got for me tea? Pork chops. Yes, where are they? In the fridge. Right. You've got mashed potato, roast potatoes, and I thought I'd fry some onions. Why not? Have you been heating the bottle while we've gone? <sighs> Cheers, everyone. Merry Christmas. And I was looking for something the other day and I've come across a bottle of Baileys. I bet that's out of date. Well, it hasn't been opened. The seal's still intact. If it, if it had, no, it's definitely full. So I might open that as well. Spoiled. So spoiled. Granddo anyway. Granddaughter tomorrow. So I've, I've got to get uh, stuff done. What are you going to do? Just, well, I've vacuumed, I've tidied up. Anyway, I'm so glad I've done what I've done today anyway. What have you done? You've been... What have I done? Yeah. Well... The viewers will tell you what I've done. Not a lot. Probably not a lot. Believable, folks. Give us a kiss. No. Come on, it is Christmas. No. I'm, you can do this. I'm chopping onion. We forgot to uh, say, people. So don't get going away just yet. Because we have got a giveaway to do. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're not going to get it till after Christmas. Because by the time this goes on, it's going to be nearly Christmas. And then we're heading up to Scotland so I will post it as soon as I get back, yes. whoever wins it. So yes. we know we're going to sit down and decide how they're going to win it. Yeah, so we'll sort that out in just a second.
Don't go away. Hang on, that bloke's got up. Sit down, mate. Sit down. There you go. Come here. Get oh. Some <sighs> oh no, people. I'm just cooking tea, and we've got a disaster in the kitchen. I mean, this is a disaster. Oh, shut up. You're Robin. flooding us out. Man. See, if you didn't sit down so much, you'd be all right. Bloody unbelievable, folks. Disaster. I'm trying to see anyway, I'm sorry. Oh, shut up, Robert. I've and done my onions, not ready to put in my gravy. And we're not using a power bank today because... They're all in the motor room. Yeah. Well, a couple of them are. The one that I'd use for in here, he's put, he's put them in the motorhome and it's only Tuesday and so I've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday before we go away. Yes, but I always get prepared, people. Always. Oh. Just in case, you know, anything goes wrong. I'm one of those people that pre-organises no. things. Yeah, but you haven't though, have you? Because I've had to plug into the electric. Can you use a small pan? I'm only doing those for the boils and then I'm going to air fry them. I've got, I'm actually using my Ninja because I'm doing my chops in the Ninja. There's my chops, look, because I'm rocking my chops. There you go, look. Shame there's no kidneys. They're not allowed to sell them with kidneys in anymore. I like a good kidney. Um, and then I will be doing the roast potatoes in the Kasori. Can't beat a good air fryer. <laughs> you can't beat a good bloke. Yeah. I've just sat down to watch Herman hits the road while I'm waiting for my potatoes to boil. There he is, look. Uh, behind his head, I don't know if you can see it on the TV, used to be our sticker, and I can't see it. So, I should be, I should be on the tads if I can't find my sticker. What are you saving? Getting. There he is, look, with his beaver on top of his head. Can you hurry up now and eat that because we've got this giveaway to do? You're unbelievable. It's half 25 to 7 and I've just stopped. Just finished cooking your dinner. Look at that, folks. I was going to do a mashed potato, but I've chucked the peas in to save on the washing up because I'm actually hand washing up. She's going to eat all that and all I've had probably, all, all days not. of pot noodle. Can you tell fibs? No, mine's here, folks. <sighs> right, we'll get this down, us. We'll get back to you and get this giveaway done. Sorted. Give us a kiss. No. Right. Bloody hell, I enjoyed my tea, did you? I did. What did you say? Don't know if any of you have ever done that because it is actually the what first time tea? I've done it is fried a load of onions to go with pork and just chuck them all in the gravy because it was really, really nice, wasn't it? Beautiful. And I've got to go and let the dogs in. Excuse us. She'll be back in a second. I'm back. The dogs have come back in. But they'll want to go out again in about two minutes. You do look very pretty today. You smell lovely as well. You smell like a boiled potato and an onion. I'll keep dropping hints because I'm nearly out of my favourite perfume. What's that? I don't know what your favourite perfume is. You do know is. what my... It's the same perfume I've wore since I've met you. My favourite. I wear lots of different perfumes. But oh, Chanel favorite? Number 5? No, I've never wore Chanel Number 5. Oh, only after 34 years of marriage. What is it then, Febreze? Anyway, yes, as I was saying before, pop some fried onions into your gravy when you serve it with pork. Beautiful. Absolutely bang on, people. It was the best meal I've ever cooked. Her. Your extent of cooking is crumpets. Bad ones. Me like a bit of crumpet. Anyway, let's get Hang on, on to... Hang on before we go any further. I've got something to tell you. But it can wait. What you got, for, got me for Christmas, anyway? That's a surprise. Father Christmas is bringing it, yeah. Wait well, until you see yours, I don't think you'll be very happy. <laughs> if it's a tracksuit, you can ram it that, right where the sun don't shine. That'll be on a... what vlog will that be on? Probably it'll go on Boxing Day. Boxing Day? Yeah. The day after Christmas Day, you know. Yeah, because this will go on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, Boxing Day. So uh, we'll do a bit of uh, opening presents of things. No, we, oh, we're going to try and film a bit of Christmas. We are, with there will be one going out on Sunday, probably. Might not, don't know. It depends. Yeah, there will be. 
Yeah, well, yeah. And then We've Boxing got to say, Day. you know, wish you all Merry Christmas and, uh, you know, and all that. Yeah. Um, and then That's Boxing... the least we can do for you because you've run so much for us. And then on Boxing Day, we will have filmed bits of Christmas Day. Not all of it because we are with family. Yes. And, yeah, but we will film bits. Anyway, we're going to get on to the giveaway. And we haven't decided the question that we're going to ask you. Yes, I have. Go on then. Okay, this is a question, people, to win this fantastic prize, which is... What is it? It's the Old Tenic. Hoover. U12 Vesla stick vacuum that we have uh, got in our motorhome. It's yes. absolutely brilliant. It's got uh, green light technology, so it shows up all the dirt and the dust. Yeah. So this this prize would be great if you've got a motorhome caravan. or a caravan. Or even for your home. Yeah, but for a motorhome and a caravan, it's they, absolutely bang on. They are cause, ideal. Because we've got one and, it, and, it's, and it's a great tool. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's that's the prize, people. And you have got to answer this question. I dread to think what it is because I have had nothing to do with it. How old are my boxers? <laughs> Not the question. No, no. Forget that. Bloody hell. Yeah, it's been a long day, folks. Even longer for me. You said you've had an oyster? I did. Until you came back. Yeah, and to enter this competition, you must be a subscriber. Yep. Okay, you must be subscribed to our channel, and you've got to like it and the co and comment with the answer yes. to this question. Yes. So, when did we first? When was our first charity meetup? When or where? Where was it? Where? Where was it? And when was it? Okay, our first charity annual meetup that we do for Race Against Dementia. What was the date and where did we hold it yes so that's a pretty good one for you to have come up with being as i've been cooking tea and whatever i had no idea what he was going to say but yeah yeah the the date and the place and the uh the venue we held our charity meetup oh. i'm impressed and that takes a lot oh yeah a little bit yeah so what we'll do again we'll write all your names down we'll Bang Actually, them in a bag. Yeah, we'll do that over Christmas. Um, yeah, because you won't be receiving this until after Christmas. Because well, obviously we're going away. Into the new year, probably second, third week in the new year. Yeah. I'll, I'll post it out when we're back. Uh, yeah. But we will draw it over the Christmas period. Yeah. We'll give you a week or so uh, to enter. Yes. And then we'll draw it and I will send it out to you when we on our return yeah it really is a great hoover as i say if you've got a caravan and a motor home, or even for your car or whatever perfect yeah brilliant uh what was i gonna say that's it no i was gonna say something else oh yeah now if one of you you lucky if you're a lucky winner and you live within say 20 mile 30 mile radius of uh, of us of our area i will deliver it to you in person so nobody from around here is going to enter it I wouldn't. Although I see enough of I'm you. I'm anyway. sure people would like me to deliver this to the house. I don't think so. Have a cup of tea and you know get to know me and do me something to eat. Oh yeah, because he's starved. <laughs> yeah, so good luck everybody. Don't forget you must be subscribed. You must get the answer right, and you must give us a thumbs up. Yeah. Anyway, so that's enough of this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's something a, a little bit different again with uh, without mo me being in most of it. Yeah, I've worked quite hard today. Have you? <clears throat> yeah, I have. So have I. Mine's all been mental taxing. That's why your butt's getting so big because you don't get up. Oh, how rude. Anyway, come on. Say our farewells. Give us a kiss. Sir. No. Yeah, it's only a short one today, people, but we will see you over the weekend. This is going out Thursday, so we see you Sunday. Not for my cooking one, but for something different on the lead up to Christmas. Yes, Lynn's wrapped on a cooking one until after Christmas because the logistics and everything that we're doing. I have actually, because we're, we're actually having Christmas at, at our daughter's this year with yes. our youngest son and his girlfriend and our little granddaughter coming up as well. But Jessie's like flapping because she's never cooked for so many people. And Mom, can you come up early and help? So I'm going to be preparing food either here or at home. But I won't film it if we're at home. So I'll, if I film it here, whatever I'm doing. So no doubt we'll do that. Anyway, I'll, st I'll stop rambling. Bloody hell, it's like having a parrot on your shoulder, you know.
I do love you, my little angel. Shut up, Robin. Me and you go back a long way. Yeah. Hey, don't forget. What? Saturday. Yes, it's our anniversary. On Saturday, 34 years. 34 years she's had of me. Saturday, the 23rd of December, 1989, we were married. It wasn't a Saturday when we got married, though. Do you remember that? God, I don't think they do weddings on Saturday. I don't know. But yes. 35 years. So before... 35 years or 34? Before... Oh. It'll be 35 next year. Shocker. I must be doing something right, right hand to people. 34 years is silly. Happy anniversary. No, you're not getting a snog. That's enough. Happy anniversary. I don't want a snog. Go on, tongue job. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. on that note, people, we, we will say, say our farewells. So stay if for so some strange reason you do come across our channel. Don't forget to give us subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and drop us a comment because it helps our channel grow. <laughs> love it when she does that, love it. Yes, yeah, so on that note, people will say our farewell. So stay safe at a caravan as motor owners tend to drift subscribers on you. We so love you. We do. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. In a bit. Mm -hmm.